If you look at your Lightly Row music, you'll find that almost the entire piece is comprised of steps. Now, if you recall from our template for the uh, Twinkle variations, uh, we were talking about steps, meaning that there is a note that's next to another note, which is adjacent on the musical staff. One note has to be on a line and the other has to be on the space. It doesn't matter if the line is first or the space is first, or uh, the note with the line or the note with the space. So uh, how does this translate onto the violin? Well, just as a review, it means that we're playing fingers consecutively. So we're either playing one to two, two to three, or three to four. But we can also play zero, which is open string to one. That's another, um, that's another step. And of course, we can do them backwards. We can go four to three, three to two, two to one, or one to zero, open string. What about a skip? Well, the skip means that you've got two notes that are next to each other physically on the staff, but in between those two notes, you're skipping over any number of other notes. Now, uh, Suzuki likes to pick pieces where we're really only going to skip over one note because, well, we want to keep it simple at the beginning. So what does this mean uh, in terms of our uh, playing? Well, it means we're skipping over just one finger. So here's an example. Um, the very first two notes are E, 2, 2, and 2 is on the A string. So what's the note we skipped over? This is a little bit counterintuitive, actually, because uh, you're uh, putting down a second finger and changing strings at the same time. So I'm going to give you the answer. The note we skipped over is D. Why? Because the name of the second finger note is C-sharp. We're going E, C-sharp, C-sharp. So what's between C-sharp and E? D, which is your third finger. That's the note we skipped over on the A, screen, a string. So we went E, 2, 2. But we, if we were to make this uh, step instead of a skip, we would play E, D, D. But that's not what's written in the music. So it's E, 2, 2. Now, the next thing to know on the first line is that every note except for the first note and the notes in the last measure of the first line are written on the A string. So that's good news because they've given you all the fingers in your edition of the uh, Lightly Row piece. So you can pretty much figure this whole thing out even without my help. But we're going to do it together, don't worry. So unless it's written otherwise, you're on the A string. Otherwise, you're going to be playing the note E without any fingers, which is the very first note. So just look at that note for one second. Have, you know, just kind of memorize where does this note, where, how does it look on the staff? And then look at it in the last bar as well, just so you know, that's how E looks. You'll also notice something else. The stems, that is the vertical lines that go uh, up or down, uh, are going up or down. <laughs> You've got stems that go different directions based on where they are, where the notes are on the staff. And the reason for that is purely aesthetic. It looks nice. So the rule is, if your note head, that is the circle part of the note, is below the middle line, which is um, the note B, the stems will go up. If the, uh, the note head is above the middle line, the stems will go down. But what happens if it's on the middle line? If you're playing the note B, or you see the note B, then the stem could go either direction. It's really now a question about what looks prettier. So, uh, you know, that's something that uh, you'll see there's a convention for that as well. Let's get started. So we're going to do that first line. Let's do it five times. Five times is the magic number. If you can do something five times perfectly, then it's safe to say you've, you've got a good handle on it. And uh, even if it's not perfect right now, just play the video a few times, or at least this section, over and over again, so that way you can really work on it. Let's do it. So, go on the E string. Get your second finger hovering above the A string, just so you're ready to go. And you know what? Let's backtrack for one second. Can you just find where that second finger goes? The way to do that, let's, um, let's find that position. You can use clear tune to find second finger, which is C sharp. Or, if your ears are really good, you can go A, 1, 2, and just listen to that little scale. A, 1, 2. And now, just kind of hover above where you would just put your second finger, don't move anything else. And now, let's put your bow on the string, on the E string. And we're ready to go. One, two, ready, go. Now, did you?
you notice that some of the notes were shorter and some were longer? Well, here we're also talking about quarter notes and half notes, just like we did in the twinkle theme. So if I really wanted to count this properly, well, then I would go uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Did I just say count this properly? Well, that wasn't completely the proper way. We'll talk more about that later. There's something called cut time, which I need to tell you about. But we'll talk about it at the end of the lesson, because right now, let's consider this common time. Remember 4-4 four, four time? Because um, it's a little bit too confusing right now to bring in the concept of cut time. Another four times. Bow on the string. One, two, ready, go. Another three times. If you need to, find that second finger again. Hover above. And now, remember also, when you're playing your third fingers, you can open your hand. Remember we talked about that? Bow on the string. One, two, ready, go. Now, in the final two times, I'd like you to be aware of which finger is always coming next. Especially those third fingers, because those are the ones that are harder to reach. So when you're playing uh, the finger that comes before your third finger, prepare that third finger mentally and physically. So, let's try it. Bow on the string, one, two, ready, go. Now prepare three. Do it one last time. Bow on the string. One, two, ready, go. Prepare. So that's line one.